dead. So how do we do this fight? Oh wait, it's a counter, I think. Oh, no. Ouch. It's a rocket launcher. I suppose you use this. He's gonna miss if I shoot him with this. Hell, expect me to die here while I try to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do here. Ah, yeah, missed. Okay, wait. Assess. Pull lever. I got a rocket. Bring it to you now. Where is he? Is he like light sensitive or something? Here you go. Hey Wesker, just stand there and let us do this for a second while I try to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, wait, there's a control on this too. Do I need to hit all these switches? That this planet is overpopulated. Only a handful of humans truly matter. Everyone else is just so much chaff. Is it because I'm in the dark he can't see me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think that's what it is. It's dark. He can't see me. Yeah, you can't see me in the dark. I get the gimmick to this fight now. Okay. We're going to die here, but I know what I need to do now. All right, let's try this again. You go into attack mode. I'm going to take this. I doubt that. You're going to get yourself killed is what you're going to do. If we take advantage of the duck, we might actually hit him. Well, now you tell me. There's no point in hiding. Okay, hold still. Now's our chance! He's moving. Supposed to do something? She did something. Do it now! Give him the shot. Okay, I see. Or don't. Okay, where do I find rockets? Rocket. Okay, need it. Oh, you're gonna do it? Okay. Chris, I need a warhead. Has it never occurred to you? That this planet is overpopulated. Only a half. Yeah, missed. Okay, put that Come down. On. Okay. Shove her. Okay. Note the self do not give Shova the rocket launcher. Let me go get this. Okay, so we need to do this a few times. I know how the fight works now. So there's only certain places I can load the rocket. I can't do it on these narrow walkways for some reason that it doesn't tell you. All right, let's go. Plenty of dark areas down here where you can't see me. Ah, there you are. How are you seeing me? Okay, where are you? Right there. You can't hide forever. I can sure try. I've got you now. All 
All right, I'm restraining him. You do it. Do it. Or you, you do it. I've got a rocket. Bring it to you now. You're merely postponing the inevitable. Okay. I. I thought you had a rocket. He shouldn't be able to see me at all down here now. I've got you now. Oh, shoot. There we go. Get him quick before Shema does it. <laughs> Do it. Inject him. Oh, thank God. she was going to make it. It seems I may have underestimated you, Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. I have Ouroboros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. So all you had to do was shoot Chris there and he'd been fine. Okay, that was neat. He's not going to want this to happen again because it's going to remind him of Joel. 
Yep. A volcano. What a random place to end up at. How in the hell is that not melting right through that thing? It must be some kind of fancy alloy or something. Okay, I remember this slightly. Slightly. Okay, I saved it. I, listen, <laughs> I'm about dead. I'm very low on ammo. So hold up here. I have to figure a couple things out. That's yours. I owe you one. I'm gonna take this handgun ammo. Take it, Roger. You take that. You're gonna take my magnum ammo temporarily. Thanks, partner. Cause I'm gonna take this red herb. I'm gonna combine, and then we're gonna use this. Thanks, partner. Cause if I don't, I'm dead. I'll take the shotgun shells. You're gonna give me my magnum ammo back. I need ammo. Use this. You're gonna pick up you this hand rush. grenade. I've got five bullets. I wonder how bad that is. I'm gonna take the proximity bombs. I don't remember anything about this fight coming up. I remember it happens. But I don't remember this fight. I hope there's ammo or I'm have a big problem. Might have to go play an old chapter and build up ammo or something. I should have killed you years ago. Chris. Your mistake. It's over, Wesker. Over. Probably. Now, I see a glowing spot under your chest. I don't know how I'm getting to it. Why can't you understand, Chris? Fall back! Okay. Do you really believe the world is well saving? Uh oh, okay. I thought I was dead. Where do I do that? Oh, okay, I can jump over here. I think I need to go back that way. There's nothing here. There's a green herb. Oh, forget it. Oh, is this the boulder punching that I recall? Okay, that was kind of ridiculous. Let's 
so am I supposed to be shooting at him or running from him? Being like that. Go. Or can I go? He's uh, acting like I would think you could jump that, but maybe I can't. Oh, he's got an instant kill. Great. My favorite. Okay. Let's get this. Then again, she is telling me to get the high ground, so maybe I need to go back to that one area before I do this with the boulder. Maybe I'm doing this wrong, because that one area is a higher elevation. Yeah, see, I can't go that way. That's what I'm wondering. He's gonna kill me. I think that's the problem. I need to keep going up, not down. I'm gonna die here a few times until I figure out what's going on. So all I can figure is I'm supposed to go up here. So do I, because he basically kept swinging right in the path of my aim. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I hope he does that again, because he was going right into my aim. How do I go down here? Here's the boulder. That's like a weird thing too. He's like tapping it real quick or something before he goes across. Now, if this lets me jump across this boulder this time. Just hold on, Sheva. Shoot him. Oh. Hold on, I don't have ammo loaded. I hope you got a plan here because the human race requires judgment. You're going to judge us? You get all your ideas from comic book villains? He's got a point, just saying. All right, get the high ground, I guess. I don't know what else to do here. Chris! All right, I'm at a checkpoint. If I die, that's good. There's a greener behind me if I need it. You got a thing on your back. I can figure out how to get to it. Maybe you have a thing on your back. If you do, I don't know how I get you to turn around. Oh, now. Oh, nice. I've got one bullet. Was that another instant kill? What was that? Okay, we're going to try something here. Because this fight's probably going to come down to me. So we're going to give her the handgun. I'm going to take the rifle from her. In return, I'm going to give her that just so she has a little bit of ammo. I'm going to take her rifle ammo. I'm going to put the proximity bombs away because they aren't doing anything. I'll give her the grenade launcher. Maybe she'll use them. And just in case... I'll take that rifle too because that's got five bullets on it. I'm going to take her machine gun off and give her flame rounds too. So maybe she'll use the grenade launcher a bit. But now I got some ammo on me. Give that a shot. There it is. Try 
try to bait him into attacking. There we go. Okay, now I might have you. Okay, he's going to do that. Now his heart's going to come out. And he's naturally going to cover up so I can't see it. Okay, you're going to cover back up. That's fine. I'm going to take a second here and equip my magnum. Damn, too slow. Plus, I can't see Kasheva's in front of me. Here, you're on attack. Shoot! No, 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 no! That will insta-kill. Because I think that's what killed me before. There we go. Okay, get back, 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 back. Sheva's gonna be what makes this hard because she won't get away from him when he does that. There it is. Go into attack. Now, you know what? Cover. Because that might be why you're getting hit. All right, so that's the trick. Keep her on close so that she doesn't run into his stupid little tornado attack. Now, Sheva, shoot him! I can't stop hitting you! Hey, you can. Yeah, do that. I'm dying. Is that hurting me? Am I dead? I'm dead. Get away from him, he's gonna be stupid. I'm just gonna shoot him to death. I don't know what else to do. Alright, come on, get away from him. I'm pretty certain I can beat him this way if he dies this way. If I have to grab him, I don't know what to do. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna do that one attack. That one, it hits me a lot.
I wouldn't be so sure of that. trying to rifle again. I don't know what else to do. I don't think this other method is working too well. I feel like I might have to grab him, but I don't know how I do it without getting hit. <laughs> if I do it, I'm dead. Tell me I said. <laughs> That was for the amount of times I died killing you. I don't even want to see my stats on this level. I died at least five times, probably way more than that.
Yeah, it's worth it. Alright, so I'm going to give some thoughts. I'm recording this about a week later. Had some time to think about things. So, first off, thumbs in the middle. It's not a bad game at all. It's just got one glaring flaw, and that's the AI partner. Not really a surprise. The one thing I always heard about this game was the AI wasn't great. What actually surprised me at first was how competent it felt. Like, the first few chapters, I had no idea what anyone was talking about. Sheva was doing fine. She was even finding handgun ammo and running over and giving it to me without me having to tell her, and honestly, I wasn't expecting that. Then, somewhere around the oil field, I started seeing little flaws with her. She would constantly switch from attack to cover because I'd hit a button to call her over because the button also puts her in a cover when you hit it. Sometimes she wouldn't attack. She'd have the stun rod in cover mode, which should make her aggressive towards anyone coming near the both of us since she's close to me, but she just wouldn't use it most of the time. Other times I'd have her in attack mode with a loaded gun in her hand and she'd just stand there and not attack enemies that were nearby. It's like she got confused or something. She'd run in front of my shots so I couldn't see what I was aiming at. She would decide there was something that she needed to interact with, so she'd charge far ahead and trigger enemies. She would stand way too close to enemies capable of one-shot killing her. And it's not really Sheva, it's the AI system. Beating the game unlocks the ability to play Sheva and have Chris as your AI partner, and he's not going to do much better. In fact, it's probably worse that way because Chris is bigger and bulkier, which means he's going to get in the way of your aiming a lot worse than Sheva did. If I had played this co-op with a human, this would have been a way better experience I imagine because you're eliminating that problem. Every other issue is fairly minor. I don't mind one-shot enemies really, and if I had room for the grenade launcher, I'm sure there's probably some ammo for it that'll mess up a reaper because looking through the store, there's a bigger ammo variety than I originally thought. I guess inventory space is probably the second biggest problem, especially after 4 nailed it so well, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. It's nowhere near as bad as what Zero had going on. This did have good stuff in it. I dug the story and how they tied all the previous games together. Well, except Nemesis. You'd think they'd want to create another one of those things. Chris was fine. If anything, I was disappointed he wasn't as cheesy as Resident Evil 1 Chris. I didn't really have anything to make fun of him with. He wasn't the most original character, but he was competent. Had no problem with Sheva. She kind of felt like she had the misfortune of being Chris's side character, and about halfway through, they gave her a real quick motivation in a single cutscene that never came up again. Thought they were going somewhere with the thing with her and Josh. They had this weird scene where Josh just kind of shows up and Sheva asks him what he's doing there and it seems awkward. Like maybe he's not being truthful and then nothing happened. I probably read too much into it. Uh, Wesker stole every scene he was in, even if he was a little comic book villainy. I'll actually say there's one thing I'll give this game over 4. It never felt like it dragged. 4 felt like it dragged a bit on the island in the original version. 5 just felt like it went from place to place and never really slowed down except for maybe in the ruins with the laser puzzle rooms and that huge statue room where you needed to raise and lower staircases and even they weren't that bad. It felt like they were trying to shoehorn a little classic Resident Evil puzzle feeling in there and it was fine. Uh, soundtrack stood out to me too. I was surprised how much I liked it. If I'm dying in an area and I'm humming along with the area music while I'm trying to fight my way back to where I might get killed again, you've got a good soundtrack. That song where you're fighting Wesker and Jill together was awesome. Probably my favorite. Uh, other favorites. I don't really know if I had a favorite boss. Wesker and Jill if they count. I dug the Elegante, Nandesu, whatever you want to call its design. I hope whoever had the idea to hang whole bodies from his belt like trophies got paid well for this game because that idea was sick. I loved it. Favorite enemy? Dunno, but I'll tell you my least favorite was Reapers. I actually can't believe I'm going to say this, but they need to bring those things back. They're killable, but they're a pain, and they're the kind of thing that if you see them again down the road and you're not expecting it, you're probably going to freak out a little bit. Definitely need to bring those back. So yeah, that's all I got. Thumbs in the middle. It's fine.
definitely try a co-op if you can but if you do it single player just be aware Sheva's going to need babysitting and she's probably going to slip into a bad situation from time to time i'm going to be doing the dlc next i think there's two story dlc i know for sure there's lost in nightmares and i think there's another one unless it's a mercenaries mode thing i'll figure it out after that, I'm probably jumping out of the main series for a bit, and we're going to do Revelations, which should be fun because I don't know a damn thing about it. I've never seen it before. I think Chris and Jill are in it, and there's something about a slime woman. That's all I know. So, yeah, that's all I got. Take care, and we will do this again sometime soon. Later.